crack guys welcome back on board pain chain for pain chain gaming today we are looking at spider-man and uh i have to say i was a bit 50 50 from what i seen uh from e3 okay it just didn't look like spider-man like i mean okay it did look like it or obviously it was spider-man it, it, it did look like spider-man don't get me wrong why can't people go back to spider-man 2 Spider-Man 2 was the best Spider-Man I've ever played. 3 was crap. Uh, Web of Shadows, you know, the, um, all the, the newer ones. They weren't, okay, I'm, I'm not going to, okay, I'm not going to crap all over the parade. They weren't total shit. They just weren't good, as good as the second one. The second one was massively open, open spaced Manhattan, you know, go everywhere, do everything. I mean, um, you're like you were able to go on to so other, so many other bosses other than Doc Ock. Like Lizard, the Lizard was there, uh, Shocker was there. You know, uh, the Green Goblin was around the place sometimes as well. Uh, you were able to literally grab a bad guy, bring him up to the tallest tower, and power bomb him all the way down. It was just a great load of fun. Don't get me wrong. I mean, three was okay in that sense, uh, but like it just didn't have a lot to do from what the second one did. The second one had so much to do. So when I seen the gameplay trailer of this this one at E3, again, I was skeptical. I just had that in my mind. It's not the second one, but I shouldn't really think like that because that means I'm setting myself up to expect this game to be like two. And that's not how you should approach a new game at all. You should literally expect it to be, like, expect it to be, um living trying to live up to two but not be two if you get me because that's where i feel a lot of play a lot of people do with games nowadays like with the, the likes of call of duty and all coming out they expect it to be like a call of duty that they loved and once they find out that it's not like call it that call of duty that they loved they hate it now don't get me wrong i didn't really like the uh, inclusions of the future warfare and like the the suits that allow you to jump all over the place and all, but that's me. I don't like future warfare in general because I feel they go a bit nuts with the gadgets and the weapons that you can do, and then it just becomes that you're like, no, that's that's kind of stupid. Um, modern and old era, old era really for first person shooters for me. But like in general, if you expect the game to be like a certain game that you played previous. Again, number one, what's the point in getting it? Because then you've already played that game. There's no point in getting it after that. And then number two, when you find out that it's not 100, 100% like the old game, you're just going to hate it regardless. That's that's kind of my thought in it. That's the way a lot of people... And then you get, you, then you come to the games that are actually totally crap. Um, but I'm not mentioning which ones of them. Anyway, I'm not going to talk anymore. Let's see what we got here. This is the Paris Game uh, Expo from Sony for Marvel's Spider-Man. We see exactly what it's like, shall we? With fist Damn. behind bars, what's next? And the city's safer than ever. Ah, yeah, right. Maybe Peter Parker can have more of a life. Are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no. I mean, I mean, I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, I'm, I'm fine. Take care of this place. It represents best part of me. This is Miles. He's gonna be helping out around here. For acts of extraordinary bravery. I'm the one who kept order in this city! What is this? Devil's breath. Your city and everything you care about will be destroyed. The people will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. Get more backup. Maybe the city needs our friend more than you think. Chucker. Yeah. 
Anyone else need a breather? Kind of, actually. That, that, uh, that was pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That was actually pretty good. I don't know much about this villain, though. Um, You see Osb Osborne's there. You see Fisk is there. And Shocker was there during the trailer as well. Uh, But this guy, I don't know much about him from the comics in general or the TV shows. So I'm adamant to see what he can he do. Uh, it kind of looks like he can call on some sort of a force anyway. Um, an energy force, it looks like, to be able to... Well, here he's kind of... Uh, he must be setting off that bomb that goes off. And then uh, in the older trailer, he had like a sword that uh, kind of like shot or killed some guy with an energy sword anyway. And then like his whole body like kind of infuses with energy in the helicopter as um Sp as he grabs spider-man and then the trailer ends so it could be like uh if anyone remembers the x-men movie uh first class i think it was there was a guy who could absorb energy and then kind of push it back on people i don't know if he absorbs energy or if he is the energy you know that sort of way it's very interesting to see and uh, it kind of looks also there that you were able to play as um, the reporter. Wait! Where is it here? That looks cool if you're able to do that in the actual game, but I think that might be a, a quick time event more than anything. That's pretty cool. Yeah, see, this this looks like that you're able to play as her from this angle. Um. So, two-player game, I doubt it, but I'd say, like, there'd be times where Spider-Man's distracting the bad guys, you got to try and go around and either set off the alarm or lock them out of security or something like that. It'd be pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm adamant and I'm open to this game itself to see how it goes. Now, it, this kind of scene, I think, was from the last trailer. This was... A lot of people kind of got angry at the quick time events. Um, the whole thing about trying to save the crane from falling down or save the helicopter. That can't really be done if a person had free reign over the controller, to be quite fair. Um, I feel that... Uh, I think even the developer said it himself... Uh, when he was being interviewed, there's moments in these games that are so big that they can't really be done by manual people manually doing them. Uh, they have to be done more or less by quick time events. Uh, stuff so over the top, like when the helicopter was falling towards the ground and Peter had to shoot a load of webs to catch the helicopter. Regardless, that's going to be quick time of get quick time event either way. Because there's no way you're going to be able to have free roam to jump off the helicopter, get down to the ground, and try and web up some sort of a webbing. You're obviously only going to press one or two buttons to do that when you get down on the ground anyway. So why not just have it a quick time event where you're doing it in the helicopter like Spider-Man would actually do if he was there. You know that sort of way? Uh, because he doesn't want to give people the whole free reign of being able to just literally jump off the helicopter, go all the way to the ground. And by the time to get there, you're about to web it up and oh no, pfft. The helicopter comes crashing down. So a lot of the times I agree when quick time events get st stuck in games. For most of, uh, there was a shocker back there, isn't it? Yeah, this is a this is a weird design for the shocker. No point in having the helmet, I I think. The let let his face out really. Uh, but he looks pretty cool. Looks got a. Uh, it looks a bit futuristic in a way. Oh, whoops, sorry. Did I try and get a? Get a good shine of him there. Yeah, kind of get the idea, really. The f weird, fun, and futuristic. The helmet, I don't think the helmet. I don't think he needs the helmet. Get rid of the helmet, really. Just have his face. Just that, I mean, yes, Shocker had some sort of a helmet, but it was the same as his clothes over his head. So either change the helmet to match the textures of that of his clothes, or get rid of the helmet altogether. Where uh, people are used to the Shocker now, the way he was in um, the Homecoming. He was just your man with the the things on. Like he probably might get the costume at a later stage, but these people enjoyed the Shocker of that in the movie. Uh, well, from people people that I talk to, anyway. I don't know about the majority of people, uh, regardless. But anyway, 2018 guys for Marvel Spider Man. I'm hyped because it's Spider Man in general. I think Spider Man's a real cool c character. Uh, again, I'm not going to think of this as it's Spider-Man 2 again. It's a whole new Spider-Man. 
I'll be interested to see it. Hopefully it's free roam because I think Spider-Man should be. Because, uh, like, you know, giving yourself the speed and being able to web and all, you should be able to go wherever you want in the, the city itself. Um, so, I'm excited. I'm excited to see exactly what it's like. And hopefully we'll get more trailers, maybe to show off a bit more in the coming future. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I shall see you in the next reaction trailer. Goodbye. Finish him.